Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here in Idaho and it's snowing. So check this out. We're here at Premier Technology. An amazing family owns and operates this building right here. They house 400 employees. It's an amazing manufacturing facility. They're in the food industry. They're in the nuclear industry, the government all of it they do big things here and one of the most important things in their world they're all about automation they're all about technology and with that technology they still employ 400 employees right here in this small town and i'm excited to be here all right so let's go check this place out before we started this company we were professional hunters and outfitters and you can't make a living doing that year round so in the off season i do some welding and it occurred to me that there was room for a business that was operated differently and that was the foundation of the company and that was back in 1996. We got a couple guys, a welder and a pickup and right now we're almost 400 employees. We use the most modern equipment and techniques and so my wife is the CEO and CFO and it truly is a woman run and woman owned business. The majority of our family works here with us. I'm anxious to give you a tour. So Titan, this is our expansion. This is why I'm so excited to show you. So we made the investment. This Stopa storage system is the tallest in North America. This system right here, it actually increased our capacity by 400%. It's currently the tallest system in North America. All automated delivery and automated storage. So our new fiber lasers, everything is automatic. There's an awesome crane and a shuttle system on the other side. Let's go look at it. So what kind of industries are you serving with this massive machine right here? This the equipment here on the front end serves all of the markets. You know, we, we work in the Department of Energy, Department of Defense. Uh, we do a lot of work in the mining industry, uh, commercial nuclear food processing. So if we were going to automate any of our processes, this is where it made, made sense to make the investment. So right here, Titan, is where the trucks come in. So everything is offloaded inside, help protect the material. And then we, we look at the material and we sort it and decide which system we're going to put it in. Let's okay. walk around the front. So the material is loaded right here. And then it's shuttled into the system. And this shuttle crane on the right hand side automatically takes it off of this pallet and, and goes and stores it in the rack. And when it's time to cut, that shuttle system goes, picks up the right pallet, brings it back, and goes into the machine. So while the laser is cutting, the material handling equipment is positioning next plate. So as soon as this plate's finished, it shuttles out and it trades, so it's all multitasking. In fact, it's so fast and efficient. If we had a single job of thin material in every single tray, we could process every one of those jobs. That's 250 jobs in two shifts. In two shifts. So you can just see with your own eyes the efficiency and the productivity. The automation on a super high level, right here in Idaho. Right here Boom. in Idaho. So good. Sometimes you need to be inspired. And I'll give you a little background. It was a pretty dark time for me, actually. We've been in business 23 years, and quite frankly, I'd just about run out of gas. I, I felt like I was swimming upstream all the time. And I click on the TV, and I'm watching this episode. He actually inspired me and convinced me the Premier hadn't reached its pinnacle. There was more that we could do. It could be better. Titan, my favorite episode was you went to that school in Wisconsin. The Mercury Marine episode. But that was my favorite episode. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, those kids, that's one of the reasons, like, you know, I actually heard about that school, and I heard that it was it was a small school. The whole school has, like, 150 students in it, and yet they have this massive manufacturing plant for a high school. And uh, like you said, it's solving those problems, going from print to finished part, receiving money for that, and then all of a sudden it's like, man, I can... I can design something, I can make something, I can build something. And We're gonna try and do the same thing here. We think it's an ideal situation to get young kids excited about it. Yeah. You know, you get a young man or a young girl operating a big expensive piece of equipment. Yeah. It's like driving a Ferrari. Yeah, absolutely. You can bring those kids in and let them run that's the equipment it. at night. Build yeah. that part. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's what really inspired me about manufacturing and even doing the TV show was just you know, families like yours all around the country that make a living, you know, making things and, and selling things. And then we can actually outcompete anybody because of our 
our minds and technology and automation and what you're doing here, you know, right here in Idaho. There's only two things that you're not allowed to say inside of our company, and they're can't and impossible. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm humbled to be up here. Walked around the shop all day yesterday and just met good, amazing people. And I heard the vision and I saw the workers and I saw the welding and I saw the machine shop and one thing rang out to me. And it's a word for the young people. The bigger the problem that you solve, the better you will be. And through the process, we become qualified to do what we're called to do. You know, our company works a lot in the nuclear industry, and it's not just on the power generation side, but it's on the waste side too, cleaning it up. You know, we have legacy waste from, from old, old projects, and you know, we're lucky enough to get involved. This is the kind of equipment we need. We're gonna build some waste containers, and you take that nuclear waste and put it in the container, and that protects all mankind from those legacy waste. It feels good to be involved cleaning it up. Okay, we just saw how we pulled the material off of a large coil, and we pulled it around and we made a perfect cylinder. We automatically cut it, and then we automatically welded it. Behind me, this process is automated as well, and it's the process where you put two of those cylinders together. The way it works is the welding equipment comes up out of the basement after we fit one on top of the other. The only limit is our hook height and the ceiling height. You can just start stacking cans one on top of the other until you run out of hook height. Okay, Titan, now I'm gonna show you my favorite machine. It's this crazy fast two blazer. Big old beast, though. Big old beast. Is this all just one piece right here? One piece. 210 feet long and 40 feet wide. This was all cut with the tube laser, and then this was cut with that new fiber laser. So very little fit up, any hand fit up or hand work. On a job this size, that tube laser probably saved us over a thousand hours standing at a saw, cutting one piece by one piece. Crazy efficiency. Crazy. Right behind me, my team's putting together the K-TIG process, and we're gonna see it work in just a few minutes. So the K-TIG process actually developed in Australia. And what's cool about it is if you, if you could cut right through and get a cross-section during the process, that cross-section looks like an hourglass shape. And it's that geometry of the puddle and the forces that cause the molten metal to swirl that allows you to make that weld without a weld prep. You can take a half-inch plate with no weld prep and butt it right up to the other plate you can either use autogenous welding with no filler wire or you can add filler wire. But it's four to five times faster than what we've traditionally been using. So here at Premier, we like to make things as quick and efficient as possible. The cheaper the better, so that way we're not wasting a bunch of man hours. This is a new process called the K-TIG and we use a universal robot. It's a programmable robot that goes from waypoint to waypoint, seaming and welding plates. So you eliminate grinding, you eliminate sanding and polishing. So you just have these savings that just keep dominoing all the way down, right to your bottom line. So whoever's in here that feels like the world is crushing your shoulders and you have no way out, I guarantee you tomorrow the sun will rise. When you walk the path that is hard, you will stand up and you will be qualified to talk to somebody who's behind you on that same path who's struggling. But this is a world of competition. This is a cutthroat business. Today, we're seeing incredible growth in manufacturing. But I challenge you that on a daily basis, that when you go into work on Monday, that you would think about your workmanship. You think about the problems that you can solve. And when you see a problem, even though nobody's watching, go after it and solve it because that is what you do. And when you do that, you're taking the company and the whole company's rising. You know, if, if you're gonna be successful in this industry, it's competitive and it's tough. You're gonna have to be on the cutting edge. And the, and the key to training your employees is, is an academy, just like Titans put together. The fastest way you can get them trained to get them productive is by using that academy.